Hunter Biden's ex-wife has taken the stand to testify for the prosecution in his federal gun trial. That's right. The president's son is accused of lying about his drug use when he bought a gun back in 2018. Biden's attorneys continued their cross-examination of an FBI special agent this morning who detailed Biden's alleged drug use through his own audio recordings. Scott McFarlane is outside of the courthouse in Wilmington, Delaware. Scott, what are we learning from Biden's ex-wife's testimony? Oh, the questioning started and finished very quickly from the special counsel's prosecutor, about 10 minutes only of initial questions for Kathleen Buley. What the prosecutors were trying to get at is, did she know Hunter Biden was addicted to drugs during the period of time near the end of their marriage? And she said yes. She found a crack pipe on the deck of their Washington, D.C. home in mid-2015, that she would then regularly search his car to make sure there weren't drugs inside the car because she testified the kids drove the car frequently and she testified that she did indeed find drugs on occasion, that she pressed him to go into rehab near the end of their marriage, which ended in 2017. He initially refused, she testified, then eventually did so. This is a period of time that predates the alleged crime. He's accused of unlawfully possessing a gun while using or addicted to drugs in late 2018. Their marriage ended in spring 2017. But prosecutors are beginning a drumbeat here as the afternoon began of women in relationships with Hunter Biden who will testify they knew and he knew he was addicted to drugs before buying that gun. So interesting, Scott, because you have um, Hunter's own words in his memoir being used against him, as well as relatives. I understand the prosecution plans to bring um, Hallie Biden, that's his late brother Bo's widow, to the stand. What is significant uh, from her testimony do, do they expect? That could happen as early as late today, and it could push into tomorrow. Hallie Biden, Bo Biden's widow, was in a romantic relationship with Hunter during the period of time in question in the fall of 2018. In fact, she's testifying here under an immunity agreement with the special counsel's prosecutors because she is poised to testify about her drug use with Hunter Biden. The key to this whole case for prosecutors is they say Hunter Biden knew he was using or addicted to drugs when he applied to buy that gun and didn't check the box for drug use on the required form. He faces two counts of making false statements and pleaded not guilty. The third count is unlawful possession of the gun while using or addicted to drugs. He's also pleaded not guilty to it, but what prosecutors are seeking to glean from these sets of testimonies is that Hunter Biden very much knew he was a drug user or drug addict in or around October 2018. So, Scott, how long do we expect this trial to last? Well, this is moving faster than we expected so far, but the estimate from both parties is that one to two weeks is the likely time frame. And when they were selecting jurors on Monday, they ensured the jurors were at least available through next Friday, June 14th. Uh, it's possible the jury gets this case earlier mid next week. And then, of course, the jury, as they are across America, works on its own timetable. All right, Scott McFarland, thank you.